All right, y'all, so today I'm gonna to be showing you how I make these wooden bottle openers. Real simple to make, one of the easiest things I make, a matter of fact. So let's get started. All right, so what you're gonna to wanna to do is grab yourself a one by two. I'm using one by two select pine. Measure down 15 inches, make a mark. And I'm using three. You only really need one to make one or two of them, but I'm batching them out, so I'm using three of them. So, like I said, mark it at 15. Take your square, make a straight line. Move on to the next one. Same thing, and same thing. So, we're gonna cut this down, and we'll pop right back over, but let's go get that done. So after you have them cut, what you're going to want to do is grab your propane torch and start burning them. I do a heavy burn on it. Well, heavy to medium burn. I like to bring out the green more. Alrighty, so after that's done, I will take the middle part, take my tape measure, measure down five inches. Just gonna put it right there. Of course, take your square, line it up, mark that edge. And then what I do is I'll take some tape. I use frog tape. Line it up with that line. Make sure everything is down. And then same thing, roll it to the edges. Now, if you did it correctly, they should line up and you got a straight line going on. So with this, I'm doing a black and red, or a, sorry, a blue line one. So all I need is one middle one. And all right, so I use Varathane Classic Water Base Tinnable Stain in a black. So, of course, I just use a screwdriver since I keep misplacing my key. Make sure to mix, mix it up as well. And, of course, I use a foam brush. So, since I put it on this line, we're going to take it and just nice and coat the line same thing with this one now it is going to look gray that's why you put two or three coats on it the more you put on the more dark the darker it will be all right just like that not even five minutes later they're dry so i'll take it do the same thing. Alrighty, so just like that, this is now completely dry. What I do is you take off painter's tape. And it leaves somewhat of a clean line. You can use a razor blade. I just got tired of trying to hammer that in. So since we're doing a blue line, we will take our blue. I use a navy blue by same brand, Varathane Tenable. Um, just cause I feel like these are the best colors. Um, then since I've done this multiple times, I would recommend putting a tape right here to block off it. But like I said, since I've done this multiple times, I've gotten the hang of it. All right, we'll come back after that's dry to apply a second coat. Alrighty, so five minutes later, 
that's done like I said we're gonna add the second coat and same thing now with the blue and the black it's kind of difficult especially once it gets a little darker to be able to see the difference but it is there you will be able to tell it's just you got to take a close look at it so uh, with this with the blue I let it dry for about a minute make sure it gets soaked in and then I'll go ahead and wipe it off and then what I'll do is I'll take it oh, a little too early on that Let's see if we can save that all right we saved it um, so of course I forgot about the edges so we'll go ahead and wipe that off And then to finish it off, we will take it, line it all up, glue it, and then we'll add the stars. I'll show you how to do that on a normal fly since I have one of those prepped up and ready to go. Alrighty, so what I did was I took one of these, pretty much cut out a section like that, and that's what I use for the stars. What I do with this is I'll take it, line up the stars how I want them. Pretty much what I look for is in these stars, you'll be able to see the line difference. And I just try and get it close to the center as I can. Make sure everything lines up. I'll take the tape. Put a section right here. Making sure not to cover up any of those stars making sure to cover up that one then I'll cover the sides same thing making sure not to cover up any of the points of the stars that are there and finally this side Now, I did a gray line flag before, so I did gray stars, but we're just going to do white stars. I use this um, white Rust-Oleum times two paint and primer stuff. Seems to work amazingly, but so yeah, make sure everything's flat. I take an extra piece of cardboard, lay it down there so I don't get overspray, and I spray it. Now I would recommend doing one layer, waiting for it to dry, and then tossing on another coat. So we'll be back after this completely dries and I can show you the final result. Alrighty, so it is dried now. Um, that's pretty much what it's going to look like. We'll toss on the, uh, we'll clear coat it, toss on the bottle opener, and then call it a day. And this is pretty much what you're going to get with this flag. So I hope you all enjoyed. If you're more interested in more details on it, let me know. I'll go, I'll see if I can go more in depth. Um, but yeah, that's what the flag looks like after you're done.